Thank you for watching this video. To best support the channel, please take a moment and click the subscribe button. Also, the links to purchase this fly and the materials to tie the fly are in the description. Today we're tying up the fly you see in front of you. It is a variant on the little crappie fly. We're calling it the almost fancy little crappie fly. In the vise, we're loading a Moonlit Tagata ML501 hook in size 12 with a 2.5 millimeter tungsten bead in color copper. We're going to lay a quick thread base. We're using some black Semperfly classic wax thread in 6 aught, And we're gonna dress this fly up so that we can catch a bunch of fish. Get your thread to the back of the hook and we're gonna tie in our first material. We're gonna be using some tan marabou. And you're gonna get a decent chunk and we're gonna measure it out so that it's one and a half times the hook length. And tie that in so that we can have a smooth body. You're gonna tie it in and then work your way towards the front. So we're gonna wrap back Make sure everything's on there properly. We'll grab our other fly so we can verify that everything's similar in size. We're gonna scoot our mirror butt before we lock it in nice and tight. Now you can see that those match up as far as total tail length. So now we're gonna clean up our thread wraps, clean up the material so we have a better tie-in point for our next material clip off the tuft of marabou that's remaining. And then just wrap it down, tie things in nice and tight and secure. Now we'll go ahead and grab four barbs or barbules of pheasant tail. And we're gonna tie that in on the closer to us side of the hook. Make that one hook length in length. You see my threads jumping forward on me, which tells me it's unwound a little bit. So we're gonna need to tie that in and spin our bobbin. Where we're right handed, we're gonna spin it so that it gets the thread more corded up and it'll allow it to tie down more successfully on the next wrap. So you'll see me spinning my thread here, making sure that I get it align properly to make things a better fit. So go ahead and pinch the another four barbs of pheasant tail and put that in so that it's running down the same length of the hook. Then wrap your thread forward so we can get those tied in. Make sure everything's aligned. And go ahead and grab your scissors and trim everything out. And then go ahead and wrap your thread around, clean up any loose ends, and try and smooth out the body so we have a nice tie-in for our next material. The next material that we're using are some starburst fibers in copper. It's gonna be a flashy material to give ourselves a nice body here. Just make a, a dubbing noodle and work your way back to your tie-in point if you're not there right now. And then just doing touching wraps, keeping the dubbing relatively tight. Just wrap your way forward. You may see some loose ends. That's okay, it gives a little bit of shimmer and shine on this. I had to add a little bit more to my dubbing noodle to make it sure I made it all the way up to our tie-up point, which is right behind the bead. Now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and grab a hen feather. This is from a speckled brown hen saddle. And we'll go ahead and preen our fibers back Make sure that we have everything prepared and we'll tie that in by the tip so that we can wrap that around our material. Tie that in. 
and we'll wrap that around the hook and we'll fold the feather back towards the rear of the hook to try and get as many of the fibers to point rearward as we can. Then after our third wrap, we're gonna get our stem to be pointing the way we want. And we'll do a crossing wrap behind it to catch it in place. Lock things in, grab our scissors and trim out that stem. Build a little bit of a collar here by doing a handful of wraps. And that helps make sure that that stem is more secure than it already was. And then we'll go ahead and whip finish our fly to finish things up. At this point, you can do two whip finishes, do one whip finish, whichever makes you happier. I prefer doing one and then coating the thread wraps with a little bit of UV resin for enhanced durability. Let that soak in for a moment. Grab the UV light, cure that nice and hard, and we have a finished fly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't taken a moment, please click subscribe to the channel and drop us a comment. And as always, the fly and the materials to tie the fly are in the video description below. Thank you. Have a great day.